let's work out a simple example. We have been given a square loop, a square which I'm going to call A, B, C, D, and it carries a current I, which is a length L, and our goal is to calculate the magnetic field at this point. Let's solve this. The solution will involve using the same equation that I derived last time. That is, if you have a wire which carries current I, and you want to know what the magnetic field at any point P is, then that magnetic field in magnitude turns out to be mu naught by 4 pi I divided by A times sine alpha plus sine beta. And alpha and beta are the points from from that uh, no they're not points they are, they are the angles the angles obtained by these two extreme rays uh, with respect to the center okay so if here is so you are here is alpha and here is beta <laughs> it's very tiny I hope you can see it okay so I'm pretty sure you can sort of see where we're going with this so what we have to do now is apply the same formula to all the four sides of the square okay let's quickly do it so we know what this distance is this is what we are interested in that distance is L by 2 that is our a that's the perpendicular distance of this point from this wire I'm, I'm calculating the magnetic field at this point due to that wire a B so I'm just gonna call calculate due to a B so due to a B the magnetic field at point P is going to be mu naught into I into 4 pi multiplied by length that is L divided by 2 the perpendicular distance times sine alpha so this is this is the alpha and this is beta actually anyone can be alpha and beta it's, it doesn't matter but look it's a square it's 45 degrees I hope you can see that the whole angle is 90 that's 45 so you get sine 45 which is 1 over root 2 plus another sine 45 another 1 over root 2 that gives us something annoying going on in the background there I'm extremely sorry for that but we have to continue so that gives us 2 pi L times 2 divided by root 2 and this 2 cancels so we get mu naught into I divided by root 2 pi L that's the magnetic field due to one particular wire and let's figure out the direction of that now the direction can be figured out in multiple ways either you can go for DL cross R you can think of the DL vector is uh, this way and r vector is this way so if you do a dl cross r and you use your right hand rule you're going to see that the magnetic field is uh, in to the plane into the screen and so this magnetic field over here is going to be into the screen that's into the screen now notice something that the magnetic field due to BC is going to be exactly the same because if I draw a line from here to here that is also going to be L by 2 and these angles are also 45 degrees and it's the same will work for CD and, and also for AD that means the magnetic field due to all the others are exactly the same so all I have to do now is figure out the direction and either add them or subtract them so let's do that very quickly here DL vector is this direction and R vector is again downwards you do a DL cross R thank God the background thing stopped <laughs> alright so if you do a DL cross R again notice that the magnetic field is going to be inwards awesome it's gonna add up to this one what about the magnetic field you do CD well same exercise DL is this way R is this way DL cross R DL cross R inwards excellent adds up and I'm not gonna check that over here you do that last check convince yourself that that's also going to be inwards and hence this problem is solved the total magnetic field at point P total field this was due to AB itself AB only total field is now going to be just four times that value that's going to be 4 mu 0 I divided by root 2 pi L done. Ta da! That is the answer. So we have solved our problem. Stay tuned for more. See you next time.